Hi guys, so in this video, I'm going to show how we can solve divisibility and remainders question using the whiteboard. Now, this is a question that has exponents. Many of you have really said that you want to uh, uh, see some questions solved using the whiteboard uh, with exponents. So the first thing we do is make the whiteboard appear and in the EGMAT implementation, this whiteboard's floating. So the nice thing about this is you can just move it pretty much anywhere. And when you want to stop, just tap it and you can resize it. And, and since this is the DS question, you can just cover the options over here. So the first thing in any DS question that you want to do is uh, extract as much information as possible from the question stem. So what is the question stem asking? Question stem is asking, hey, is, is this expression divisible by four? So essentially, it's a yes, no question. That's a yes, no question that I have. And what's the expression? It's n square. I'm you're going to use the caret plus 4n plus 3. Now, what this really means is we know that this term 4n over here, let me just, for, for, for just explaining this, let me just use this, is 4n is, is always divisible by 4 by because it's 4 multiplied by something. So this expression really leads to, hey, what I'm asking is, is n square plus 3 divisible by 4, which essentially means that if n square plus 3 has to be divisible by 4, which is equal to if it's equal to 4k, because anything that's divisible by 4 has to be 4k, then what this implies is that n square, n square essentially uh, has to be odd. That's essentially what this question is asking. Is n square odd, which essentially means that is n odd. Now, this is something that I've extracted from, from my question stem already. So let's kind of look at statement one independently. And what my statement one says is, statement one says that n is not divisible by four, which means that essentially n could be even because, you know, n could be like six over here or n could be odd uh, or n could be five because both of these numbers are not divisible by four. Now given n is a positive integer, so uh, it doesn't matter. So statement one, clearly it could be, um, uh, 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 it could be either way. Why? Because if n is six, then, then n square is, uh, is, 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 is essentially 36 and 36 plus three is, uh, so again, we don't even need to worry about it because all we had to worry about is whether n is odd. So n could be either odd or even. Now statement two says, uh, says that hey n plus 2 is divisible by 4 which means that anything that's divisible by 4 uh, means has to be even which means n is equal to even and if n is even we know that you know this expression is not divisible by 4 which means statement 2 is sufficient so that's something that we found our answer let's hide the whiteboard say statement 2 alone is sufficient submit this answer and yes, we got it correct, as you can really see over here, statement two alone is sufficient. So hopefully this helps you uh, understand how to use the whiteboard to solve questions that, that do involve exponents.